This week marks the five-month anniversary of the shooting at Mattoon High School. Today, many students entered the school reliving the same fear that gripped them on September 20th. This fear was caused by a threat of a potential second shooting that circulated on social media last night. Mattoon High School senior Madeline Horath was shocked to find out through a friend that someone threatened to shoot up their school. Just reading them like made me sick to my stomach because like I don't I don't get why anyone would think it was funny to make jokes about people getting hurt or dying. Another senior and friend of Horath, Ashley Smith, says the threat upset not only her, but also her sister who witnessed the shooting. My sister was in the cafeteria when it happened and mm -hmm. she saw it flash almost by her and it made me worried for her because she had a panic attack last night because of the hoax. In response to the threat, some students decided to stay home from school after witnessing the traumatic event within their cafeteria just months ago. Senior Jacob Evans didn't witness the shooting himself, but he understood why many of his classmates chose not to attend today. A lot of people didn't show up like my English hour. We only had like nine people in there and that's usually a class about 20. I think a lot of people didn't come because like they were a lot of people were in the cafeteria whenever it happened. Matt Toon police arrested the 14 year old girl at around 10 o'clock last night for making a terror threat on social media. Police Chief Jason Taylor says the department was alerted to the threat by a citizen just six hours prior to her arrest, but later found out the threat was a hoax. The accused individual could potentially face up to 30 years in prison if found guilty on the felony charge. Taylor says a computer forensic program was vital in the department's success of finding who was responsible for the threat. One, one misconception people have is that if they put something out on Snapchat, they think it goes away real quick and there's no, there's no evidence left behind. Um, don't ever think that there's not a digital footprint left on the web or on Snapchat. To address parents' concerns, the Mattoon School District and Police Department are teaming up to beef up security. Taylor says in addition to active shooter drills, a second full-time school resource officer will be provided on school campuses. We did put a, uh, a new officer into the middle school per uh, re request from the school board and now cry from the public due to the uh, September 20th uh, Mattoon High School shooting. He's a well-qualified officer. Taylor says Officer Shane West will begin his duties at the middle school and nearby Williams Elementary School on March 19th. Approaching his first official day, West has already made a good first impression with Mattoon Middle School Principal Jeremy Smith. He's going to be just such a, a nice addition to our team, you know, to the middle school family and being able to come in here and, and support us and, and us be able to support him as well. So it already seems like it's a great fit. It's a great match. And we're looking forward to, to getting him in here and, and being able to work with our kids. In Mattoon, I'm Lindsay Veach for WEIU News Watch.